Blue 42! Hut! Hut! Everybody, I'm Greg Bedard from the Boston Globe and Boston.com here with former Patriots tight end Jermaine Wiggins, and we are going inside the Patriots playbook from the loss against the Steelers. Uh, Wiggy drew up, this is the first third down that the Steelers had on offense against the Patriots. Kind of set the tone for a day where they just couldn't get off the field and the Steelers dominated time of possession and it was uh, not a good day. This play, Wiggy, I think it, it really illustrates a lot of problems that they were having on defense. Like things weren't adding up, whether they're communication issues or whatnot poor alignment by the safeties. Why don't you take us through kind of what happened on this play? Okay. So and this ended up yeah, going to uh, Heath Miller. Heath Miller yeah, but he, here you got to understand, it's third and 11, okay? Third and 11. So here's the 11 they are first down marker. Both safeties were at a minimum of 15 yards deep, okay? So you do not want to be playing that as, an, as a safety. You want to be up against the, the third down marker. Here you got to see... Pittsburgh's in an empty backfield. Now, you know from... That means no running backs. That back. means no running backs in the backfield. Now, the Patriots have one, two, three, four, five, six potential rushes against Pittsburgh's five blockers. And what they do is they bring this, they bring this, they bring this, they bring Guyton, and they bring Nikovic off the edge, who's going to be free because the tackle has to block here, the guard has to pick up Guyton. The center has to slide here. So Nikovic is going to be off the edge free. So what that's telling you from a defensive standpoint is that Ben has to get rid of this football. And he's only got two places he can go with this football because the blitz is right in his face. It's to Heath Miller on a little pop pass or it's to the inside receiver on an out route. Quick. It's going to happen quick. But if you're a safety and you're playing 15 yards deep, backpedaling, once he makes this throw and he hits Heath Mill over the middle, he's catching it at seven yards with nobody around him. So he's able to now get up. He, not only did he get the first down, but he got more than the first down. You as a safety have to know when this we have this blitz on, I have to be down here. So now when he throws this play, I make the tackle right here for a seven-yard gain. Now it's fourth down. Pittsburgh has to kick a field goal. But if you're playing this deep, 15 yards, away from the line of scrimmage when it's third and 11 and your initial thing is to backpedal you cannot make this play you got to be down and if they throw it to Heath Miller you make the tackle right here but if you come down and they throw it to the inside receiver you make the tackle right there because you know from a defensive standpoint you have a free rusher this is something that's indicated pre-snap we have we have six rushes somebody's going to be free yeah, this, this is a play where I, I watched this back and forth because I was trying to figure out what happened. And to me, it's, it's one of two things. Either, you know, like you talked about, there's, there's a disconnect. Yeah. They're coming with pressure. They're playing it like it's going to be a regular zone. There's going to be linebackers dropping. I mean, I'm wondering if Spikes, because we saw him – Start he, up he and start then, and then came. No, but it, it's it, excuse me. It's not on spikes. It's on the front side strong safety because he's closest to the play. Even if he starts to come up and they hit the pop past Heath Miller, he'll never be able to get over there in time. It's on this safety to be up closer to the to the third down marker. And now when Heath Miller makes that catch, he has to be right there. And I believe this was a, he, a head of bull mm -hmm. who has to come up and make this play. But that's just an indication of the defense not really all being on the same page. These guys are playing too deep. These guys are blitzing free. We're not all on the same page. Yeah. I just I found it interesting that after this page, Ahedabo had some words for Spike. So yeah. something didn't commu get communicated right, and that's what happens when you yep. have a game like that. You know, hopefully they can get it corrected because they're going to need to against yeah. a good Giants team coming in. Uh, we'll talk about that tomorrow uh, on Patriots Inside the Playbook. So thanks for dropping by. For Jermaine Wiggins, I'm Greg Bedard.